Why is Baba so late to come home today? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Why are you late today? Oh, I just had to finish few works, my son. So, are you ready for the story of another prophet? Yes, Baba. Insha Allah, I will tell you the story of Prophet Hud alayhi salam tonight. Now listen carefully. Bismillah. After the great flood, the descendants of Prophet Nuh alayhi salam populated the earth. Prophet Nuh alayhi salam had many grandsons, and they had even more grandsons. Like that, the population of earth grew quickly. Many of them settled down in ancient Yemen. It is said that those who settled down here were the descendants of Iram, one of the grandsons of Prophet Nuh alayhi salam. They were called the Aad people. The Aad people were big and strong, and they were very hardworking too. They were known for their craftsmanship, especially in the construction of tall, beautiful buildings. The people of Aad grew rich, and they erected huge towers on top of every mountain nearby to showcase their skills. They were very proud of what they had become. At first, all of them were good Muslims and prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But as time went by, they were misled by shaitan. The Aad people made idols from the stone and started worshipping these idols. They ignored Allah's warnings and worshipped these idols instead and fell into bad ways. That was when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to send another prophet to earth. This time Allah chose the prophet Hud alayhi salam from among themselves to warn them as a trusty advisor. Allah has sent me to you. He said to his people, He was the one who taught you everything. He gave you this world. He gave you your children. He gave you animals. You should stop worshipping false gods. There is only one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should obey his commands, he told them. But the people of Aad shouted back at the Prophet, Who are you to advise us? Why should we listen to you? And they ignored the Prophet. I was chosen to convey God's message. He told them calmly, Listen to what I say. If you do not, then I fear that God will punish you. The people didn't listen and they said, You are nothing but a liar. Why should we listen to the words of a liar? I am not a liar, the Prophet told them. And the Aad people said, If you are not a liar, then prove what you are saying is true. Tell Allah to send the punishment. Hud alayhi salam was sad and disappointed when he heard this. I am not a liar. I am the Prophet of Allah. He told them earnestly, but no one believed in him and walked away. The Prophet tried preaching to different tribes as well. Do you think the houses you have built is going to last forever? He asked them. Remember that it is Allah who gave you your fortunes. He is my Lord and your Lord. And only in him should you trust. I have already warned you before. If you don't obey Allah, he will choose some other people to take your place. Allah knows and hears everything. But the elders of the tribe too rejected him, calling him a fool and a liar. The Prophet tried again to convince them. Oh my people, I am not a fool, he told them. I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds. I am letting you know his will and give you my honest advice. They didn't listen to the Prophet and they too turned their backs on him and they continued worshipping the idols. There were only a very few people in Aad who listened to the words of the Prophet. Hud alayhi salam realized that Allah was going to punish the people of Aad soon. Allah punishes the disbelievers no matter how rich, tyrannical or great they are. In the next few days, 
a drought spread throughout the land. The sky no longer sent its rain and the sun scorched the desert sands. Odd people came to the prophet asking, "Why is this drought, Hud?" And the prophet answered, "Allah is angry with you. If you believe in him, he will accept you and he will send the rains." "You are such a fool." They laughed at the prophet. More obstinate and sarcastic, the drought increased, the trees turned yellow, and the plants died, but the people continued to worship the idols. Many months went by and Ad did not receive even a single raindrop. The Ad people refused to accept Allah as their god and prayed to the idols for sending the rains. But the drought went on for 3 long years. One day when the prophet was offering his prayers, Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala asked the prophet to gather his true companions and told him to leave Ad. Shortly afterwards a huge black cloud appeared in the sky over the people of Ad. The disbelievers didn't realize that it was Allah who had sent that cloud as a warning to them. They thought that this large cloud was going to give them the rains instead and worshiped the idols again. The weather changed suddenly from burning dry and hot to stinging cold with the wind that shook everything. trees plants tents even men and women the wind increased day after night and night after night the ard people realized that this was the punishment sent by allah and began fleeing they ran to their house to hide but the wind got stronger and ripped their houses apart the people then hid in the basements of the huge buildings they had made The wind was so strong that the buildings collapsed, and the disbelievers died in the basements. The storm raged for eight days and seven nights. The violent wind did not stop until the entire region was reduced to ruins, and all the wicked people in Ad were now destroyed. Only the Prophet Hud alayhi salam and his people were safe. Because they heeded the warnings of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, they migrated to Hadramaut and lived there in peace, worshiping Allah, their true God. Mashallah, that was such a wonderful story. I am glad you liked it, dear. Aren't you going to ask me the questions today? <laughs> I was about to ask you that. Now are you ready? Yes, Baba. All right. Now tell me where did the Prophet Hud alayhi salam live? He lived in the land of Ad. That's the right answer. Now for the next question, tell me what sins did the people of Ad commit? I will give you three options: gambling, worshiping idols, stealing. Hmm, it was option B, worshiping idols? That's right again. You are doing very good. Thanks baba. Next question. For what skills were the people of Ad renowned for? Hmm, can you give me some options? Of course, here they are. Option A, craftsmanship. Option B, singers. Option C, dancers. Ha, huh, they were renowned for their craftsmanship. That's right again. All right, now here's the next question. How did Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala punish the people of Ad? Allah sent a drought to the land of Ad. The people still mocked at Prophet Hud. Then God sent a strong wind that destroyed everything in Ad. Masha Allah, that was excellent, my son. Did Prophet Hud die in the storm? No, the Prophet and his followers remained unharmed. That's the right answer, my son. Hmm. It's time for me to leave. I will tell you another story tomorrow. Which story are you going to tell me tomorrow? Inshallah, I think I will tell you the story of Prophet Saleh alayhi salam tomorrow. Prophet Saleh alayhi salam? Yes, Amir. After the destruction of Ad, the tribe of Thamur succeeded them. It was among them that this prophet lived. 
Wow, that sounds so interesting. I'm so excited. All right, now go to sleep. Good night. Good night.